Crash. This, this is a Star Crash, obviously. Um, and today's video, or yeah, video topic will be about a tutorial. So I'm gonna make a tutorial, and it's gonna be on Chocolate Truffle because it's like the easiest thing to ever start off with. And that's, I think that's what I no 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 that's not what I started off with. I started off with a Harry Potter for my first little charm. But okay. Um, if y'all don't know what a clay charm is, this is what it is. This one's not baked yet, but it's, um, I think it's my Miss Elric Alphonse from Fullmetal Alchemist. I'm not sure if y'all can see him, because my camera sucks. Well, that's him right there. And, um, that's a real charm. This is more like a little charm for, like, a necklace that my mom, she really loves Hello Kitty. She asked for it. So, it's, like, done already in baked and glazed. That's why it's all shiny. But, stay tuned for those tutorials. Like, the Hello Kitty tutorial. And, oh, by the way, I got this from another clay charm tutorial channel that I saw. So, credits go to that person, not me, because this has already been done. I don't remember who it is, but once I find out, I will put your link down there. Um, and, um, Elric Alphonse, um, he was a creation by me, by myself. I'm the one, I think I'm the only one that has done him as a clay. So, um, that's that. And just keep on watching this video for the charm update. It's coming up right about okay, so now. First, do you want to start off by grabbing um, brown clay and blue? Well, you can use whichever color you like, but I preferably use blue because I'm making a raspberry chocolate truffle. So, you want to have extra blue right here for the little drizzle. But for right now, we are trying to mold this into a little circle. So just moisturize it by rubbing it together with your hands. Like this. Okay. Once that's done, you're going to squish it with your thumb. Like so. And it should make like a little dent like that then we are gonna flatten it flatten it out with one of these little tubes these you can find that um this one came with this and this and this um you can get it at michael's for three dollars or two um okay well you kind of flatten it out and kind of make it into a tortilla or something like that once you do that start rolling or moisturizing the blue the blue color or the filling and then once it's in the perfect circle place it in the center now once that's done you're gonna peel it and you're gonna like Squish the corners, the four corners, like so. Making a flower or something like that. With a knife, hopefully you have a good knife because I have a kitchen knife. You're going to cut the extra, or yeah, the extra. Because you don't want no star. So you're going to cut, cut out the extras and then... With this type of tool, the one that I showed you, you're going to smooth it out. Like this, covering the blue. Okay, once that's covered, place it down on your table or wherever you're doing it. And just kind of roll the edges. See how no hard edges. And you might want to roll it with your with your um with your hands. So just kind of roll it. And then place it down. You know, place it down and squish it, or just kind of squish it down to the bottom, not completely. And then roll the edges out again. 
and then squish it again and then roll up the edges really really lightly Okay, once you get your perfect chocolate truffle, it should be able to look something like this. Flat from the bottom and kind of dome-shaped at the top. Okay, once that happens, you're going to grab your little, your little um, blue string. Do I have it? Oh, I had it right there. Okay, so you're going to grab your blue, blue string and going to cut out little pieces. Kind of like this. Okay, hold on. Like that. You're gonna like just stick them there slightly. And then do another one. And then just kind of pull it apart. Like that. Roll it up a little bit more. kind of like that you know and then you should be able to have a chocolate truffle kind of like that I don't know if you want to put some more on it I guess you can. Maybe put one right here because it's kind of bald from there. And you have your perfect chocolate truffle. Now if you want to make a bite on it, I guess you, you can do this. I didn't do it because I'm doing a tutorial on it right now and I don't have time to stick it in the refrigerator. But it's better if you stick it in the refrigerator for around 20 minutes because it's going to get hard a little bit. And the bite's going to come off way better. But I use a pumpkin cookie cutter because it has like the perfect shape right here. And just kind of squeeze this part, a corner of it, squeeze it. Kind of like a bite mark. And you're going to get to see the filling inside your chocolate truffle. Afterwards, just grab a pin, and I did this one earlier, and just kind of stick it in there. Um, you can cut this part out, so you can have this one, like that. Like that. And just cut this part out right here where my thumb is holding it, so you can have a charm. And it is going to turn out to look something a bit like this once it's glazed. For the glaze, I usually use Sculpey. I use Sculpey and it looks like this. It's just a bottle. It costs about a dollar or two at Michael's. And just a random brush. I don't know why I use makeup brushes from a long time ago. This is my mom's. And this is a shading brush, but okay. For the eyes, right? I use that or this little smaller one. That's a lip liner brush. But you can use any kind of brush. And well, that's all for today. Um, thank you for watching my tutorial. And this is a chocolate truffle. It's really easy to do. Really fun. And you could use it for like a gift for birthdays or New Year's or Christmas or whatever it is. Just a little special something for your little friend. And thanks for watching. Hope you can like subscribe and stay Thanks for viewing. Time. This is my first tutorial, so I feel like really, really happy that y'all are watching it. And if y'all liked it, y'all already know what to do, alright? Alright then, bye.